Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video, we're doing the highly requested calf workout. We're gonna be building these bad boys right here. <laughs> Muscles of the calf, the back of the lower leg. We're gonna be strengthening them, toning, building that muscle. Ooh, it's gonna be good for your health. <laughs> yeah, if you're new to this channel, my name is Sarah. I'm a medical doctor and a fitness trainer and I share lifestyle and fitness videos and workouts. So feel free to subscribe and join the fam and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know how you found it in the comments. Don't need any equipment. Just listen for the voiceover, follow along. I'll show you from two different angles because I got you. We're here to smash this, okay? We're here to do this and do it well. It's what the voiceovers are for, to help you get the right technique, okay? It's not just the amazing banter, that's that's an aside. The main thing is the technique, so you can get the results that you want to see. Oh, also sign up for my eight week home workout plan. There's a link for that in the description of this video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I feel quite a lot of pressure to be banterful right now. So, you know, let's all just lower our expectations of this voiceover and then we won't, we won't be disappointed. So, we're gonna start with bridge calf raise. So down on all fours, uh, chest is facing the ceiling. We'll be lifting up the heels. Are you ready? Steady. And go. So keeping the hips up, we're lifting the heels up, getting a nice calf raise that closed angle at the knee. Breathing through. Trying to lift the heels as high as you can, pushing the toes into the floor. Um, my cat Mimi is so funny. She legit just always comes and sits on the bench when I'm doing the workout. I think she's trying to let you guys know that, you know, she is the queen of the house. She's like, you're not about to film and put it on the internet without me being it. And, you know, that's very, very nice. She's definitely the queen of the house. Keep going, lifting. You're doing really well. And relax, well done. Then we're gonna come back up, but we're gonna cross one leg over so that um, we're increasing the weight that we're carrying through that calf. Doing single leg bridge calf raises. And go. Cross the leg over, keep the hips up controlling the movement, lifting the weight of the body, lowering it back down. Supporting the weight of the body with the arms as well. Stay balanced, you've got this. All the way up, really push intentionally, squeeze mind to muscle connection, Breathing through, hips are staying up. Excellent job, well done. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. You can stretch out, reaching for the tiptoes in between. Um, we're doing 45 seconds of each exercise and 15 seconds rest, of course. So you've always got that little bit of time and go, <laughs> but it does go quick. And if you find it difficult to keep your leg crossed over, you can just lift it up in the air and just keep it off the floor, okay? Because we are intensifying the movement by just doing the single leg. Also evening out any imbalances. It's really good to do unilateral uh, work to even out any imbalances because we all tend to have one dominant side, one that we lean towards or use more. So if you do feel, oh, it's more difficult on one side than the other, that's totally normal. A lot of people will have that and doing the workout will help even out that imbalance. So keep going. Well done, awesome work. Next, we're coming over onto our front. So I want you to go into the downward dog position um, and we're gonna do single leg lift. So stretching that calf as the heel goes towards the floor, then pushing up and go. So downward dog position to start, lift one leg up and we're walking the dog, but uh, if you do yoga, then that's a common term, I believe. <laughs> but we're gonna lift up the heel with just the one leg. So I want you to get that heel all the way back to the ground and then push up off. Notice how I'm almost like, I'm literally almost jumping up off the floor. That's how powerful that push is, okay? 
um, and I'm still keeping that integrity of the pose so my chest is still pressed towards the mat so I'm feeling this in the upper body as well getting that double bonus keeping that other leg lifted as I push powerfully getting that full range of movement through the calf you're doing really well and relax well done smashed it chill out for a second and we'll come down and do it on the other leg Ready, get set up and go. It's that full range of motions. You really want to be pushing all the way, pressing the front of that foot into the ground, working the muscles at the back of the lower leg, keeping that chest pressed towards the mat. Got a nice stretch of the shoulders there. Keep going, keep lifting, you're doing really well. Breathing through. Keep your balance as well so if you need to slow down that's fine it's not a race it is far better to have uh, control we're not just flinging our legs all over the place this is a controlled movement and relax well done we're coming up onto our feet next for some foot taps so with this movement you're tapping the floor with your feet i know that's basically what it says in the title but that's how i want you to think of it okay ready go so keeping the legs fairly straight we're just moving at the ankle joint so that foot stays um pointed up so it's kind of like cocked up and then you tap it down so you're tapping the floor lifting it back up and you want to be really powerful with that tap. Imagine like the floor is a door and you're trying to knock on it. Keep going. Alternating feet. You've got this. 10 more seconds. relax well done shake it off next we're going in with some power bunny hops so with these I want you to do them at your own pace okay and um, so I'm resting on like every third of these and go what I want you to do is to really jump up nice and high we're getting minimal bend in the knees okay so we're trying to jump up nice and powerfully nice and high keeping those feet up. so I want that angle an angle at the ankle um, to stay around 90 degrees so the feet are like lifted up towards the ceiling and you're doing a powerful jump from the midfoot from the midfoot just or midfoot to front of the foot jumping up nice and powerfully like your tigger or something pushing up against the floor Amazing, well done, smashed it. Shake it off, grab a drink really quick if you need to. So coming back in with a single leg calf raise. So full body weight here. And go. So lifting all the way up. Core nice and tight, you've got good posture. The other leg is lifted off the floor to allow that one leg to do the work squeezing the muscles at the back of the leg squeezing the calves intentional mind to muscle connection it does make a difference and keep lifting if you feel like you know it's a bit tight and you're cramping up just shake it off stretch it out and get back into it nearly there just a few more Rest, well done. And do a little calf stretch against the wall and then we're coming back in on the other leg. And go, lifting all the way up, pointing that toe. Core is tight, breathing through. It's a small movement, but yeah, it's intense, especially after all the work that you've just done. You're doing so well. Just keep going, keep lifting. Breathing through. And 
nearly there. Amazing, well done, relax, stretch it off and we're going into the final move of this workout, the plie squat heel lift. So nice wide legs, lifting that heel up off the mat and go. So feet turned out, hips stay low, lifting that heel all the way up as high as we can, keeping our balance, keeping our balance rather. <laughs> all the way working the calves here and also working the um, inner thighs you're doing really well keep going control the movement keep your balance breathe through chest up shoulders low you've got this it's the last bit of the workout so give it your all try and get in as many reps as you possibly can Great job, you did it, well done. Shake it off, shake it off, and we'll stretch it out, hips back, pressing that chest towards the thigh to feel that good stretch in the muscles of the calf and switching onto the other leg. Thank you so much for working out with me. I really love having you here and being able to share these workouts. Let me know how you found it in the comments, and I will see you very soon. Love you so much, bye. <laughs>